Hi, welcome to Fishing the Edge. Guesty here. Today we're going to play with some big gear. 50 pound braid, some hard pulling critters. First thing though, we need to get some live bait and we can show you how to rig them, drop them down, use the electronics and hopefully catch a few. <coughs> Without a doubt, the easiest way to find uh, some live bait to jig is by using a sounder. Have a look here now, we're coming back in the middle there. It's just red. That is just the perfect screen to be jigging some bait. It's, it's dense, it's compacted. <coughs> pretty well, you're going to guarantee that you're going to get a string full every time you drop down there. So, pretty simple stuff. Drive up. If you, if you can work out by using a GPS which way your drift is, to maximise the potential every time you drop down, drive up past it and drift right through the bait school, or you can leave the engine in gear if you're careful with where your line is. Jig your baits straight into the live bait tank. And we, if we have a look there now, we can even see a couple of fish possibly sitting above the bait, which is always a good sign. If, when you're in the bait grounds and you, you're digging your live bait, if you've got a live bait rig ready to go, it doesn't hurt to drop it down. Quite often catch cobia, kingfish, jew, snapper, everything else in the same areas where you jig the bait. I think you've just got to jig your bait and head off somewhere else and fish. What's doing, mate? We finally got him on here. <laughs> there you go, the live bait's working pretty well there, mate, so looks like not a bad fish. Yeah, we'll see if we can get him up. Yeah, important thing with circle hooks, um, got to keep that rod tip high, you cannot strike at the bait, if you, at the bite I should say. If you strike at the bite, all you're going to do is pull that hook away from the fish's mouth, so keep that rod tip high. When you feel the bite, just lower the rod tip until it loads up and then you're away. And what have we got, mate? Bit of colour there, I'll just grab the net. <laughs> Something, a big cod, mate. Cracking big, oh, that's a nice pick. Nice big, uh, I think it's a black cod actually. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Oh. There you go, Lukey. So that uh, that circle hooks, we'll just support him underneath there. That circle hooks just popped out and if you have a look down the barrel there, turn him around there, Luke. You can see those razor sharp teeth. They're a protected species, these cods, so we won't keep them out of the water for too long. Uh, not a bad fight, not quite what we're looking for, more so chasing kingfish, but just shows you that that technique works well. You need a rod and a reel and a drag system that you can pull pretty hard on because they'll soon dust you into the coral, these fellas, so you get them back in the water, eh? Yep, let's get another one. Awesome stuff. Oh, there he goes, good kick, that's it. There you go. Hey. Hello? Oh. <laughs> Everybody's laughing, that's a bite. Hello, are you awake, Michael? And uh, I don't know what I've got here. Sort of got a bit of a weird fight going on. I'm not too sure if it's a kingfish or what it is. It's not a bad fish anyway. Bit of colour there now. Boys want to grab the net, I think it's a king. Oh, it's a really big rainbow runner actually, there you go. That's a, probably the biggest rainbow runner we've ever caught actually. Beautiful fish, look, look a hell of a lot like a kingfish. Colours. We'll get this out and just show you. A magnificent looking fish. You can see where that circle hook's gone right in the corner of its mouth. It's done its job perfectly. And there is one of the prettier fish you'll see swimming around those iridescent blue lines. And that's a rainbow runner. And I must say, I haven't, I don't think I've caught one as big as this actually. So get a lot of them probably in that sort of two kilo mark. That one's a fair bit bigger than that, obviously. But once again, circle hooks, use the sounder. We mark some bait on the sounder, drop down. Keep that rod tip up. As you get the bite on that circle hook and that live bait, drop it down, and there you go. So we talk about the rig. Pretty simple stuff. Bit of 20 pound fluorocarbon down to a sinker. We've got about oh, 1.2 metres of that. 
quite a heavy duty swivel, yeah, pulling fairly hard. And then we've got a bit of 80 pound fluorocarbon and then that comes down to our circle hook. So that can trail along, that live bait swims long as you're drifting with the current, live bait's on that circle hook, big swivel, a bit more 80 pound fluorocarbon and up to our 80 pound braid through a, through a double bimini twist and then I think you've tied a slim beauty there have you mate? Yep. Yeah, pretty easy stuff. Big torsion reel, this is an uh, 80 series torsion reel and this is the blue water ugly stick I think isn't it? Yep that's right. Yeah mate, so it, yeah, it's done the job well. Alright, all right, awesome stuff. Come on. Oh, <laughs> that makes two of us, mate. Double hooker. Yeah, I took a little bit longer than you there, mate. All right, this is what it's all about. Deep water, big fish. Oh, once again, using those electro using the electronics to find the fish. Hey, it's a quite a nice fish you got there, Luke. I think they're both not oh, too bad. Man, it's too bad either. I'd say we've got a couple of nice kingies here, my thought. Right, I get some colour there now. Nice kingy, mate. Here he comes. Good kingfish. Look at that. That's a nice kingy. Hey, nice fish, mate. That's a bigger one than mine. That's a cracker, that one. Well done. He's done your sinker there, mate. Look at it. Oh. There you go. Mine's on the floor. Well done, mate. Nice kingfish. There's a few kilos there, that's for sure. Yeah, very nice. That circle hook's done its job really, really well. Beautiful fish. Actually, Josh might grab that other one. We're going to have a look at the pair of them. Well, there we go. A couple of cracking kingfish from the deep water. Pretty solid fish, those two. And that's our first drop there on that spot. So once again, <coughs> variety with, with the live bait system. It's a, it's a great way to catch fish, especially if they're shut down and you've really got to put a bit of extra effort in. It's worthwhile jigging some liveys, dropping them down, and there's the results. Time to let him go and try and catch a bigger one.